Oh shit! <laughs> Damn! What's good guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are in Las Vegas doing a bit of FPV flying uh, today with Mike from Accelerated Heights and um, we have, we're having an adventure out here, Red Rock Canyon. So what we did was we just uh, fired up the Mavics and uh, did a little bit of reconnaissance to try to figure out how far these ridges are from where we are. Um, I will tell you, we probably walked a good mile and a half or so to get to where we are, and I still feel like we are really far. How far is it to the ridge, Mike? It's uh, 4,000 feet to the... So 4,000 feet to the ridge. The ridge, we measured it, the ridge is 1,600 feet high. Um, so I don't think we're flying the FPV drones that high, because one, we're not gonna be able to have the sustained battery, so we'd need to be closer, but there's a gully, um, there's like a, I don't know, a cut between these two mountains. So maybe we could fly that, that may be feasible, but. Oh. All right, we're gonna go see what we could figure out, see what we could do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let's do this. So what happened, Mike? All right, Red Rock Canyon. Decided to do some FPV and thinking like a Florida boy, just send it. Let's send it. <laughs> we know where we are, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get way to hell 4,000 feet up and think, well, actually it was you. Your I face. If we, I wonder if we know where we are. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Guess what? I didn't know where I was. I thought I just lost another thousand dollars worth of drone and camera. Dude, mountains seem so much closer than they actually are. They are far, so Look far. Look at that. It looks like you can touch it. It does. It looks like you can touch it, but you you can't. It's still you four thousand feet away. I know. It's crazy. Let's get in the car. <laughs> I've seen the sun rise from mountaintops Slept on the wrong side of tabletops I've climbed up trees that don't seem to stop But it's home where my heart belongs And it's the same oh. as... You guys flying from there? Huh? You got a whole cliff! There's more? It's just more better, man. Might not be for the faint hearted, but. Wow. This is gorgeous. Yep. This is gorgeous. I am sitting in Utah right now. I'm in St. George, Utah. 
And uh, this place is absolutely stunning. The views are absolutely breathtaking. This was definitely worth the trip to come out here and just see this and fly this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is more of a cinematic um, flight. Um, probably won't get a lot of views, but that's okay. Alright, so that's going to do it for my Vegas trip. Um, this was a lot of fun. I am back at the hotel now. We didn't do any flying today. We're actually, there's, it's supposed to snow today. You can actually, looking at the mountaintops way out into the distance, like, like ah, uh, you probably can't see it, but way out into the distance, I can see the entire mountaintops are actually getting covered in snow, which is pretty damn cool. Um, it is frigid. It's about 32 degrees here, so I'm getting ready to leave tomorrow morning. This has been four days. We went to Utah, we did Vegas, um, did a lot of gambling. All right, Chris Brockhurst. Oh my God, Chris, you won me $50, Chris. 100 or pull, holy fuck. And that's and how lost. you waste 100 bucks. That was really fast. <laughs> I mean, that's what you do here. Although this doesn't feel like Vegas that I used to know because the masks, the social distancing, so many things are closed, there's no shows, you can just tell that there's a di different atmosphere here. 
uh, it, it just doesn't feel it just doesn't feel like Vegas, which sort of sucks. I was really hoping to sort of feel like Vegas. Friday did feel like Vegas because I was completely fucking destroyed out of my mind Friday. Uh, I will never talk about that ever. That was a mess. Shit, I'm so drunk. <laughs> But, but, for the most part, I think we had a good time. It was a fun trip. I got some cool footage. I hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Real quick note about the racetrack. I know somebody's gonna be like, why didn't you get closer to the cars? The racetrack was not really keen on us even flying there. Um, so I had to maintain like a 30 foot, they said a 30 foot distance from the cars. So I tried to do that the best I could. I have no way idea to tell what 30 feet is from a car. Plus with these cars doing like 140 miles an hour and 75 mile an hour rolling through these turns, it is hard to keep up. Even though these quads can do like 80 miles an hour, it's really difficult and there was other cars on the track. So I had to be really careful. So that's just a quick note about that. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to be really super happy to get home. I actually miss my office. I miss all my my things trying to edit and do videos on the road it's just not fun so but that's going to do it for this video if you guys enjoyed be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you already haven't for more content like this this feels good because this was just a fun video of flying i'll see you next time stay rich